guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and doing to episode one of Jujutsu Kaisen. I have been anticipating this, I think, ever since the very first trailer had come out, and we're getting, I'm getting something that is my niche, like, horror, mm, because there's not really that many good horror anime, and a little bit of Supernatural and everything, which is really good. I hope that this show is good as someone who has not read the manga I think I'm going to wait probably a while to read the manga because I don't want to be spoiled all I know is one of my other fave male VAs is in this show and honestly I cannot wait to hear I've heard like a little snippet but not as much but like oh I mean I just want to go ahead and get started but so yeah let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three two one go Uh -huh. Okay, so hold on. Well, okay. I mean, what you do to leave? <laughs> hmm? Sir, are you, I mean, are you a demon? Huh? Oh, wait, how to get it? <laughs> Did he have a heart attack? Well, damn, you think? I mean, And it's not smart too because you know anybody could come up to it and be like, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, but you only have like what, three members? Maybe they drink water from See? You don't bury on something ancient. You don't build it on something ancient. This is 
Did you just say loan shark? What the fuck? I mean, that's a good reason, though. <laughs> okay. I mean, not only did he throw with like a baseball hickory, that shit like it was a softball. So cute, though. But why would he want to take the relic unless? Don't tell me we're gonna find out in this episode. <laughs> Is it weird that I like his grandpa? <laughs> Are you telling me that you're going to be dying by the end of this episode? (laughs) 
But you know, you should have let him tell you something about your parents. It could be really important. No. Oh, my God. You should have let him talk to you about his parent and your parents. Hmm. No, you'll probably never know. But it's okay. And he's all like, well, what the hell are you talking about? Um, probably very. No. Keep that really, man. See, usually I, I would listen to him. Yuji. Oh my. You are literally sending your friend to death. You could already be dead. So, you know, let's go ahead and help him pray that the gore factor is mwah, top tier. No, it's like Bishop, I'm going to fucking have him. We want to be backing the fuck up. Mm -hmm. A finger? Nope. <laughs> yes.
do this by ourselves. We got another hard headed boy. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That's okay. I love it. Oh. Are you? No, you're dead, aren't you? You got stuck. I mean, we couldn't see more. Nothing, because you're going to go ahead and go, right? Damn, you <laughs> Oh. I would hate to be them. I mean, of course you can. You're main character. That thing looks so ugly, I can't. I mean, but then that okay, he does our power. But you see them. No. Motherfucker, god damn it. Oh! Yeah, the big one. The, the looking like alien. What the fuck? Can you imagine someone walking home and they just see something they're like, hmm, should we go check that out? Babe? No. Yep, but like, hold on, Eugene, what else can you do? You have no powers? If you keep doing this, you'll die!
Oh, he's gonna eat it, isn't he? Oh. I mean, do you want to get possessed? I mean, you know what? Do what you got to do. No, he'll be fine. Yeah, that's not you, Jan. Oh, so, okay, there you go, the beginning part that we saw. <laughs> Is that how we're at? Hold the effing phone. Are you serious? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! I have so many questions! You can't do that! No, that's unfair. That is so unfair. This went way too fast, but you know what? It was good. I liked it. Mm. This is really, really good. Mm. Exceeded my expectations. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I wasn't really expecting his grandfather to die so soon. Maybe by the end of this episode, but not at the time stamp that he died at. I'm thinking, it's like, like, right as he, like, wants to tell Yuji something about his parents, Yuji's like, nah, Gramps, I don't want to hear about it. Now, whatever he's supposed to say is never going to come to light until probably later on into the series. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, <laughs> it would be funny if the manga possibly already has that answer. Maybe. But I think what I'll probably do with this series is I think I might do what kind of how I'm doing it with Fire Force. Maybe because I don't know. I, I kind of still want to read Fire Force, but at the same time, I don't. Um, either I'll continue watching the show as an anime only, which I think is the best way personally for me, um, or eventually, like, maybe, like, let's say it gets a season two, because I feel like this is, this is supposed to be a two-cure, um, anime series, so it's gonna have at least, like, 48 episodes, I believe, so maybe once when the 48 episodes are done, um, with their two seasons, then maybe I'll read it. But it, it's interesting. I like both characters. I mean, he kind of gives me a feel towards, um, well, no, let me change that. The anime kind of reminds me of one show that I'm currently watching right now, The uh, Dust Made of Amnesia. Just similar, like, tones and such, even though they're two completely different supernatural, um, occultist horror shows but they're kind of dealing with almost the same thing, but still they're different at the same time. <laughs> but Yuji... <laughs> Yuji is adorable. 
um, he feels like he's going to be a little hard-headed. He's not going to be typical, like, um, some of the shonen boys that I've fallen for. And, uh, like, I don't think I'm immediately, like, falling for him. He's cute and he's adorable and he's sweet, but I, I think give me a couple more episodes and then that's when I'll give my answer. Um, dude, the other one with, yeah, him, he's very interesting. I want to know more about him. Because he, he knows a lot about any relics or anything in general in ish because, you know, he seems like someone who's also been uh, born into this to knowing the knowledge and stuff that he really needs to truly know. And it's going to be like, they're going to be best friends, but it's going to be more of a teacher student relationship between these two. Maybe these two will never be friends. I don't know. I mean, yes, <laughs> Yuji is a very friendly type of guy. Um, but maybe what's his face is probably like the type of person who's like, you know, you seem a little too overly friendly to me. Like you need to back your ass up. Like, nah, like sit your ass on the side. You know, you can't do anything. But I, I liked it. It was nice. Like, everything about this first episode was nice. It was fast paced. Like, Typically, usually first episodes, especially when it is a mm, sometimes shonen or sometimes have a fight as seen in it, they can sometimes go really, really slow in the beginning, and then towards the end, it's just like, like that. But no, it's just, it started out a little teeny tiny bit slow because I like the fact that they showed more of the ending of where Yuji is, like, right now and then showing the beginning of okay here's where he wakes up grandfather in hospital leading all the way up into what happened at the beginning of it i like that most shows that typically do that do really really good but i i have really high hopes on this show i hope it does well i mean it seems like it already is i don't know how many people have already reacted to this show uh from people that i know but it's really freaking good I just want to know what his parents, what his grandfather was trying to tell him about his parents. And maybe it's in a diary or something. But who knows? We ain't going to know until probably way later on. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one. Do you <clears throat> see you guys in? If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, okay. This came out last Saturday, and I think this got subbed several days later because I found out about the sub last night. So, I don't know specifically. I mean, if the next episode does come out on Saturday, and if it is subbed, we'll watch it. If not, and if it comes out Tuesday of next week, then we'll have it. So, whenever episode two comes out and it's subbed, that is when the next time you guys will see me. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.